babies welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe so i'm gonna be honest with you guys we're getting crazy today so i'm a diy girly i like to do my own nails i do my own makeup a lot i do my own hair sometimes and i figure why can't i do my own eyebrows so yesterday i actually waxed my eyebrows myself for the first time i think i did a really good job because i mostly just get them cleaned up anyway and then i had a thought my little brain got to go in. What if I bleach them? Hear me out. I like lighter eyebrows when I have blonde hair. Um, I feel like my eyebrows are very dark and I figured I can, I can bleach them myself, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Let's, let's see. So we're not just going to bleach them, even though that's really cool and trendy. I don't think I could pull off like white blonde eyebrows. Maybe I can, we'll see. But we're going to take um, some cream bleach. Uh, this one's by Sally Hansen. And then I was reading on how to get like a lighter shade of eyebrow and a lot of girls said they fill it in with just for men. Um, so I selected the shade light brown. My eyebrow inspiration is actually Kim Kardashian. When she had um, blonde hair, I feel like she had like this like light brown, taupey colored eyebrow that I was like absolutely obsessed with. So that's the look we're gonna go for today. I'm nervous. Um, my fear is that it won't take or look right. And then, and then we, <laughs> then we'll figure it out, I guess. So let's, let's do this. So this kit comes with cream hair bleach. It comes with activator. It comes with like a little mixing kit. And then it comes with something called pre-conditioner. I guess I'm supposed to put this on before, pre, duh. So we're gonna follow the instructions to the letter on this one. So I um, cleaned my eyebrows with soap and water, and then they say to take the pre-conditioner and apply to a cotton ball. I'm reading the directions as I go. And saturate the cotton ball with the pre-conditioner and smooth over entire area and let dry. And while we're waiting for it to dry, we're going to um, mix up the bleach. So we're just gonna put that preconditioner all over my eyebrow. Okay, so using this little cup, we're gonna put the powder activator up to the five milliliter line, and then we're gonna squeeze this to the 15 uh, milliliter line. It's funny, I just wanna take a minute. Who can see that? Uh <laughs> I, I, I need my glasses. I can't, who, who can see that? So this is what the five milliliters of powder bleach look like. So then we are going to take the cream bleach and put it to the 15 milliliter line. That looks about right. It's kind of hard to tell because the cream bleach doesn't like evenly sit out like um, an actual liquid would, but I'm going to mix this up and then we'll go from there. So the first person I ever saw with bleach eyebrows was like my sister when I was younger. And I don't know if she used this type of bleach or just like hair bleach, but I remember it being like intensely like yellowy blonde. And I, I don't think she liked that. She like filled them in pretty quickly. But what a brave woman <laughs> to just go for it. I also see like sometimes girls have red hair and fill it in with like red, like the color red, not like natural redheads, but fill it in with like red um, eyebrow pencil. And sometimes that could be cute. But this is the first time I've ever really done anything with my eyebrows. The most I've ever done is like make them thinner, make them thicker. But so I'm really, I'm really going for it, you guys. So now it's, <laughs> I'm like shaking right now. So now it's time. It's time to do it. <laughs> so we're going to take the spatula covered in bleach and just, <laughs> we're just going to cover it completely. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. It's funny because I was going to, I was thinking about doing a hair tutorial on like how I lay like a wig down. I'm not like an expert, but I'm pretty good at it considering I have like no beauty experience, but I was like, I would never let anyone see me look crazy like that. <laughs> Here we are. I'm gonna clean up underneath too. I don't wanna burn myself. I've burned myself many times on the face with like, mirror for my upper lip. I'm a hairy girl. I'm Puerto Rican. I don't know if I've ever said that on the channel, but we're hairy people. What can I do? It's giving. 
Insanity. Let's clean that up on top. I saw this TikTok the other day. I guess this girl was trying to tint her eyebrows, which is exactly the same process, but in reverse. Um, like the opposite of what I'm trying to do. And I guess she made them so big. I don't understand why people would like tint them up, damn near up to here. But she tinted them and then it looks so crazy because like it's tint, it's dye. Don't dye, like, I'm not an expert, you guys, but if you're trying to tint your eyebrows, do not put the tint up to here. Then your face will be dark. And I know things are for clicks and likes and views, but like, she looked insane. Maybe that was the point, because I watched the video, so she got me. So we're gonna wait eight minutes, and then we are going to wash this off and see where we're at. So it's been eight minutes. Let's see. <clears throat> let's, let's see. They're lighter, they're not blonde, which it's kind of nice to know that I don't immediately go. I was so afraid you guys that like, I would wipe this off and then I'd have no eyebrow. How funny would that be? Like, that would just be so, so something. I would probably cry. I mean, the views might be good, I don't know. So they do feel lighter, but not light enough, honestly. I have like dye resistant hair. Like I have like really strong hair, God bless, but like not strong enough. Let's, the kit said you could do five more minutes if you're not satisfied with your results. My eyes are <laughs> so puffy. <laughs> Let's do five more minutes. Let's see what five more minutes gets us. Cause this is not bad, but I feel like it could be better. Honestly, Sometimes you gotta say fuck it. <laughs> kind of having one of those days where I'm kind of just saying fuck it. You can tell my channel's not monetized yet. <laughs> I don't actually curse that much on here because like when I used to have a cooking show, I think I've told you guys about it before. I was just always so worried that offend someone. But like I curse, so you don't know what to say. I would trade anything to have like a natural blonde thigh brow that like Dirty blonde, light brown color, it's so perfect. Okay. We're gonna clean that up around it. But let's do five more minutes and let's see where that leaves us. Okay, so it's been the additional five minutes. Let's see. Let's see our results. Ah. You know, I expected them to be much worse and honestly, not bad. Much worse than not bad, or the best case scenario <laughs> uh, for bleached eyebrows at home. I'm not gonna do another round because if you can't tell, my forehead's like kind of swollen um, and my face is screaming. So let's take a little break and then we're going to fill them in. So I was debating about keeping them this color just with the bleach, but it doesn't look as warm toned, like in certain lights, but if you really look, they're red. And it would bug me so much to have warm toned eyebrows and like cool toned hair. So we are going to take the Just For Men and darken these just a little bit. It sounds counterintuitive, but I have, I have the vision, okay? Just trust me on this one. I got the Just For Men um, Easy Comb in Light Brown. Uh, I don't know why, it's like, it literally says easy comb and I was like, why did they give me a comb? It, <laughs> it's for like beards and stuff like that. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, I think I'm gonna take this little brush and like kind of paint it on and only leave it on for, they say 10 minutes, I'm gonna do five. So I'm going to take the little tube and I'm gonna pour some into this little shot glass. It looks like it's already pre-mixed, so that's good. And then I'm just gonna take like this um, eyeshadow brush and just like very gently, very light, gentle, gentle strokes. I'm gonna brush that on. And like I said, I only wanted them slightly darker. Oh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> slightly darker. So we're gonna keep an eye on this. The good thing is, since it's not like bleach, you can tell how things are progressing. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip and clean up around this. Kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like if you don't want it to 
get stain your skin around it make sure you are one very careful but if you make like little mistakes just clean it up like this so i'm actually gonna take some of it out q-tips are like one of the best kept like not beauty secrets they're obviously not secrets but like they're so helpful when it comes to doing things like that honestly this might be it i don't even think i left this on for a full like two minutes but i really don't want them dark so let's Let's wipe them off. Yeah, let's wipe them off and see where we landed. So I'm just gonna take a cotton ball and just wipe them off. And this is this is actually kind of what I was going for. Just like not as jet black as my eyebrows, but like a little darker. It's so funny that like when you want like slightly darker hair, but not like super dark hair, you have to like go to high hell with bleach and then work from there. Light brown, light brown, light brown. Came out good! <laughs> I'm really happy that I went for it, you guys. Um, I was really afraid that I would either have no eyebrows or they would be like white blonde and just look absolutely crazy or a third option where I did all of this and then it just goes back to black. I would have been kind of upset. But I like how like light they are. They're clearly brown instead of jet black like they normally are. I think this looks really nice with, I can't stop looking, with my blonde hair um, that needs touch up. <laughs> but I'm really happy with the results. And if you take anything from this video, don't be afraid to go for it. Like, I know eyebrows are like super important, but at the end of the day, everything's fixable, everything's correctable. You can get bangs, you can fill your eyebrows in with a dark pencil. Do the thing you're afraid of and just go for it. You can love the results, so. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I loved it. I thought it was really fun. Um, let's do some more fun beauty things. Let me know what you guys like to see because I'm basically fearless when it comes to beauty. Uh, short of shaving my head, I'll do anything. But make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.